Hello everybody! Merry Christmas and welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. It's time to catch up! Um, even though it's been a week since we talked, it feels like it's been a million years because the holiday was in between and these last few days have been very long. They were great, but they were long. We had some crazy weather here and I, everyone had crazy weather. I do, I do know that. I'm aware of that. But we had weather that shut down interstates and kept us from doing things as planned. So everything got shuffled around and weird and um, so ah, deep breath. We're on the other side of it now and the less stressful side, maybe. So <laughs> welcome. Uh, for those of you who are joining me for the first time, my name is Sarah Keller. I'm the owner of Not Another Hat and I'm coming to you live from inside the store. So welcome. I have a few things I want to show you today and I'm going to start off with another trunk show that we have from Barocco. We love Barocco trunk shows and they're so good about offering them to shops. It would be ridiculous to not take them up on the offer to have them in the store, show them off for a little while and then send them on their merry way. Certainly is easier than us knitting all of the samples. So uh, we're going to start off talking about Barocco Fika, which is a new yarn from this fall and it is so unique. Um, I think people are a little bit confused about what to do with Fika. So let's dive into it. Um, it's interesting because it's just in five shades and they are all different versions of natural shades with a certain speckle combination. I'm trying to get them all in my hands here. These five. So we have like a gray base over here um, a really whitish base, then a cream, then a beige, and then a creamier cream. And then each one has its own little collection of speckly colors. And so at first glance, it might kind of be unassuming, this yarn, but it is really, really spectacular to knit with. It's made of uh, superwash merino, so it's smooth and lovely. It's on the um, light side of DK, so kind of heavy sport slash light DK. Oh my gosh, I actually think this would be really great for brezel. <gasps> oh, like a creamy brezel with just little tiny flecks of color. Dang! <laughs> I wish I thought of that. Hello, Michelle in Massachusetts. Um, so, oh, okay back on track. Um, I'm wearing this color right now in this beautiful shawl that's part of the trunk show. This is called Martina and it takes um, one skein, just one, oh sorry, two skeins of this color. This is the one that's got um, some orange, turquoise, blue specks and then periodically you hold it in with this mohair, this aerial, Barocco aerial in these two colors and I'll take it off so you can better see it. I know, Julia. <laughs> she says, oh my God, I can't believe we didn't think of that. But you just knit the little yarn over rows with the mohair. So you get this little subtle stripe and it's so beautiful. And then it's got some really lovely fringe. So really great little shawl. It takes two skeins of your main color and then um, one skein each of your contrast um, mohair silk, <clears throat> which is Ariel by Barocco. So um, you could do any colors, any combinations, really, truly, like whatever tickles your fancy. These aren't necessarily, sorry, one more time. These aren't necessarily colors that are in this skein, but they look really cool together, um, knit up into the project. That was Martina. Um, I'm gonna hold the back of the book up briefly. So here are the Barocco Fika projects. And we just looked at this shawl right here. So we have all of these I'm gonna show you here. The vest, get a good look at the vest. Because when it's not on a body, it's really kind of hard to get a grasp of what it looks like. So here's the vest. This is in the kind of gray. I'm using this color in my um, <laughs> pressed flower shawl. I'm holding it with uh, Malabrigo Cicero. Here's the skein. So the vest is really cute. It's ribbed all over and it's kind of got like a <clears throat> half turtle boat neck if that makes sense, and just a drop sleeve. So not quite sleeveless, not quite sleeved, but really cute, just hard to kind of visualize um, not on a body. And it's not my size, so I will not be modeling this for you. <laughs> then there's this little funky thing. This is a little like hood, and I put it on earlier, um, and 
it was kind of funny, but it's just like a little, if you just want a little hood, you can tuck into your coat and button up. This is just in one skein. This is um, called Vega. And yeah, just one skein. Cute little ribbed collared hood. And then this set we actually have on display here in the store. Got some funky hair now. Um, it's a cute beanie and cowl combo. I actually think I might have shown it off already once, but we're gonna look at it again because it's the Finca Trunk Show. It, the uh, pattern is combo. It's Laia Hat and Cowl, L-A-I-A. -A. And <laughs> fiber in my mouth. It takes two skeins for the set. So let me throw on the cowl really quick. It's just got a really cute all over texture pattern. You can see there, and that's mimicked in the hat as well. And it's, then it's got a nice big ribbed fold up area. Um, so you could also wear it slouchy if you wanted. Fold that down, slouch it back. So great combo there. Laia hat and cowl just takes two skeins. Okay, this next one is a stunner. So you're gonna really need to um, <clears throat> get a load of this. Look at this beauty. Isn't this beautiful? It is so pretty. So this is Fika is your main color. And then Ariel Color, which is the multicolor silk mohair is knitted in alternatingly and then slipped to make this beautiful, beautiful slip stitch pattern that's like a plaid. This is called Yara and it comes from, uh, it goes from a 38 to a 74 and it takes from three to six skeins of Fika. That's it, three to six skeins because there's such good yardage on that yarn. And then um, it takes six to 11 balls of your contrast aerial color, um, your mohair. But how beautiful is that? And then the, the bands and the waist are all um, just the Fika. I just think this sweater is gorgeous. I would love to make this. Oh, and it feels so good too. This is a very fine um, merino. So it feels really, really good. I think there's just one left. Yeah, this is the last one. It's a gorgeous, classic, long cardigan. It's got pockets. See if I can get, get up close on the pockets. Cute little curved pockets there. Button up, V-neck. This sample's in the kind of beigey colorway. And this is called uh, Jimena with an X. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I have like mohair in my mouth. So Jimena with an X, X-I-M-E-N-A. Um, and this goes again from a 36 and a half to a 67 and takes from five to 10 skeins. It's like for a long cardigan, that's really good. Feels amazing. I am sure this is so, oh, there's a mirror right here. Let me just check. This would be so cute. <laughs> so that is the uh, Finca Trunk Show Roundup. And there are just lots of beautiful designs. You can find all of those patterns on Ravelry. And of course we have Fika on our website right now. Okay, moving on. I wanna show you another new sample. Knit by the lovely Liz. This is my scarf fluffle design, which is a, a one skein little scarflet. So it's like a, it's like a shawl shape but it is, um, you know, scarf size. I cannot get all the mohair out of my mouth. This is what I get for wearing sticky lip gloss. <laughs> and Liz knit this up for us and Yvonne's newest yarn, which the is the um, silk, where'd I put it? Oh, sorry, I buried it. What is this? Silky Blues. I knew I was getting the name close. So the Silky Blues from Yvonne, this is hand dyed by our local gal, and this is a Silk Noil and BFL blend. So if you're not familiar, Silk Noil is like kind of like the raw silk. So it's not like the shiny, really smooth um, processed silk. It's kind of noily and um, really delicious. And this is very buttery. It's kind of crunchy now, but as, as you wash it and, um, and wear it, it softens up. And so I just grabbed three skeins here. We did the, our sample in uh, Winter Storm, this beautiful one, which is so aptly named for right now. This is Emerald City. I just grabbed three random ones. And then this is Bordeaux. And then this, the silk, Silky Blues is right 
here behind me. So it's a fingering weight yarn. Uh, there's a 440 yards to four ounces. It's $36, hand dyed by Miss Yvonne of Lavender Sheep. And it's just a perfect um, application in this little scarf fluffle because it's a premium yarn. That's backwards, here we go. It's a premium yarn and it's nice to have a one skein project. So this is just done from side to side. You start at one tip here. The border is knitted on as you go. And you basically increase until you are about halfway through your yarn. I just bumped the table, sorry for the shaking. Uh, and then you start the decrease section and you come bring it back on down to this. So really straightforward, um, quick little pattern. I think it's on a size four. There we go. It's on a size four and it just takes one skein. And it's really adaptable because um, what I have you do is just increase until you've literally used up half of your yarn. Uh, and you do have to kind of weigh it, but it means that you can use really any skein, 100 gram skein of fingering and be okay. Um, it just comes out slightly bigger or slightly longer. So um, yes, and there is a blog post about it. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> Thank you, Julia, for getting taking care of all the blog posts. So if you want to read all about the details of the scarf fluffle and this version we've done in Lavender Sheep Silky Blues, you can read the blog post about it. And thank you, Liz, for sample knitting that for us. All right, what's next? Okay, I have a work in progress that I started like a month and a half ago and I haven't shown you yet because I wanted it to either be done, which is unrealistic, or really far along so that you could really, oh, my necklace is coming off. Um, so you could really get a feel for it because it's one of those giant projects that best shows itself off in completion. Okay, this isn't making any sense. Let me just show it to you. This is the Plana Spiral Shawl, and Julia is going to share a link. It's going to be really hard to see because I'm on a needle and it's constricting it, but I think you can get the idea. It's a giant circle and it's knit in the most cleverest pattern that allows it to spiral continuously. I'm knitting it in the Wonderland Yarns um, what are the, Botanical Spectrums, this right here. This whole five skein pack, which is like 2,000 something yards, 2,100 yards. So I started right here in the middle. And of course the stitch counts were small, so my colors lasted longer. And you can see this is the end of my third skein right here. So this, I, I started the third skein right here. That's how fast now the colors are going because I have so many stitches. I'm on a 50 inch circular and it's still a little bit constricted. So I'm headed into, hold it up again here. I'm headed into this skein. It's gonna take me from that yellow green out to orange. And I'll be finishing with this one from orange out to fuchsia, magenta. So I am getting close. This is a really, really easy and memorizable, <laughs> that's a mouthful, memorizable pattern. So this has been my go-to like the whole holiday season, um, nighttime movie watching, car riding. It is largely stockinette with a tiny little chunk of 16 stitches of pattern. I took this to Tucson to work on with traveling and stuff because it's so easy and there's just a tiny little bit to keep track of and then and then it's just round and round so it's going to block out to a big full circle and then um here is the other version of those colors so if you like a more muted option look how stunning this one is i know there's a reflection sorry but um so there's two options and these are two hundred dollars and that's five four ounce skeins of fingering. So that's a really, really good, <laughs> I know it's like a sticker shock thing, but it is five giant skeins. And they're the kind of yarn that has been hand dyed from a, a, a pre-knitted blank and then wound. So that's a true, slow, hand painted gradient all the way through the rainbow. It's really spectacular. And it's, um, it's just a really good, great project, fun, fun to make. So I'm hoping um, to have maybe some more finished it bit to show you soon. I don't know. Who am I kidding? It takes so long to knit through one skein, but um, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> 
Yes, Julia, that muted one, I love it too. That one's really in my wheel, wheelhouse. I couldn't resist the allure of making an actual rainbow. Um, and that's why I went with the bright one, but they're both gorgeous, but yeah. Um, and in if you're asking yourself what you do with a circle shawl, I, that's a great question, but I anticipate this would be worn, you fold it in half, so it's just a half circle and then kind of drape it around like a shawl um, or drape it you know, asymmetrically. So it's not that you try to put the whole circle over you. You can, you make it more of like a hood and, and do like a shawl pin, but there are actually a lot of ways to wear full circle shawls. Um, and you can see a lot of those on Ravelry, but um, if you want to get an idea of how this actually looks when it's finished, you could go to the pattern link that Julia shared for the plan a spiral shawl and look at people's FOs. It kind of helps put it in perspective, um, especially because mine's bound up on the needle right now and kind of, you know, funky. Um, okay. That's it. Except for the one last reminder that if you didn't realize our semi-annual clearance sale is happening right now, in fact, Campbell is right in there in the wet zone filling orders. Don't worry. None of your orders are getting filled anywhere near any water. The water's just on the floor. Yes, we have an ongoing roof leak situation and it's probably just not gonna get better until it stops raining and snowing and they can put a new roof on. So we're just, yeah, more water. <laughs> it's not as bad as the first time, but I think it's just gonna be a continuous thing. Julia said, more water? <laughs> Oh, we've already shopped, get, shop back gallons of water out of there. And luckily we kind of, uh, there's a, it's an area where there's no product and no storage and things. It's just there to be spilled upon. But the way it drips in is, is a way that you can't really just like put a bucket out to collect it because it's running circuitously like down stuff. And so, um, it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> But honestly, I have to say after the ice storm we had over Christmas, followed by rapid warming up in the last 24 hours, I was certain I was gonna come into an entirely submerged floor and we just came into a small puddle. So things could be worse. It could always be worse. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for small puddles. How's that? Yeah. So yes, be sure to check out the sale because we have a lot of really great, lovely yarns in there. And I know some of you have already scooped up some of the best ones, but there is still plenty to be found and it'll be on sale till it's gone. Periodically, we do mark things down further, but it's kind of a gamble. If you wait for those larger markdowns, the likelihood of the colors you want or the quantities you want being there go down. So, you know, it's a trade-off. Buy now, maybe have less of a discount, but get what you want. Hold out, be willing to take whatever color's left and get more of a discount. It's your call. Um, and periodically, of course, we do add yarns to the sale as well throughout. So just keep watching your inbox and checking the sale page of our website and you'll see all the deals. All right, folks, it's been lovely to see you again. And I hope you all have a lovely new year um, celebration or quiet observance or however it is you like to pass the new year. I'll see you back here next Tuesday. Sound good? Okay. Toodaloo.